Welcome back everybody, Bakuzilla here, and today we will be taking a look at the Studio Series 44 Optimus Prime. And before we go on, I do want to say the figure looks like this. So this wheel is supposed to be up here, and these guys back here are supposed to be down like this, but I just don't like the look of that. So for the rest of, the, for the rest of this review, he's going to be a little bit untransformed, I guess, I don't know how to say it, but... I keep the wheels, these wheels, like this, and I keep these back panels lifted up like this. So that's what it's going to look like for the rest of the review. Uh, just know that's not how it's supposed to look like, that's just how I like it. So uh, yeah, on to the review. So looking at paint and sculpting first, the paint, uh, let me see, <laughs> I just had to grab them real quick. Um, Paint is all around very nice. The gray is somewhat metallic on him. Not all of it, but... Well, yeah, all of it is... <laughs> all of it is metallic somewhat. Uh, most of the red is just the plastic with no paint. Same with the blue. Most of it is just plastic with no paint on top of it, which I guess in some cases is better. Um, the, uh, the sculpt is very nice, very screen accurate. I really like this design for Optimus Prime The for, for the first three Michael Bay films. Past that, it's kind of stupid. But uh, designs very well, and they did a very good job of bringing him into a figure. And it just looks, especially the chest piece. I like the mechanical detail on the chest. And uh, yeah, I just it's, it's really good, really nice. Really enjoy it. Head sculpt is also superb. That's all I have to say. For the articulation, it is pretty standard, um, I guess. I mean, there's there's not really much to say about it. Um, the wheels on the thigh do get in the way of a lot. Like, for example, if you want to twist the waist, you're going to have to move them. And if you want to do a backwards kick, you're not going to be able to do anything, <laughs> absolutely nothing, if you don't move them out of the way. But other than that, it's pretty good, pretty standard. Um, the spread, the kick, the arm movements is also nice. Uh, the head can't look up all that far, but it can look down pretty nicely. Um, I do like that there's actually a waist swivel, unlike a lot of... A lot of studio series that I have. I'm not sure about some others, but definitely a lot of Transformers I have don't really have a, a waist swivel, so it's nice to see some on here. Uh, posing isn't too bad on this guy. He does kind of have a uh, uh, like a foot problem. You're gonna have to pose him a little bit, leaning forward slightly, or else he's going to fall backwards. It's not that big of a deal. It's, it really isn't much at all. It just, it's just something to be aware about. It doesn't hinder the figure whatsoever. But, uh, you know, all in all, the articulation is pretty nice. I enjoy it. There are not many problems whatsoever. Yeah. Now looking at his many accessories, First of which is, of course, the, uh, let me move him to the side, the trailer here, the transformable trailer, obviously just like in Dark of the Moon, when it turns into that big circle thing that, that holds all his weapons. Actually, speaking of the weapons, first you get this gun here, cannon thing, I don't know what they're called, I'm just gonna call them by what I think they're called, this little gun. Uh, that also comes with the one from the normal Transformers, the first one. I don't know about the second one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you just put it in his hand like that. It kind of goes in... Oh, he fell over. It kind of goes in um, pretty difficult. It's kind of a tight fit. But yeah, you can put it in both hands, and now I have to get it out. It's kind of difficult. It, okay. Uh, he, uh, he also comes with, stand, please, okay, uh, what did the second one do? He also comes with these two guns he gets when he goes into flight mode, 
So those also just go in like that. Just on both of his hands right there. Those look pretty nice. Speaking of flight mode, to put him in to flight mode, uh, where you get this jet pack here, and to put that on, first you need to collapse the back, put these off to the side. Okie dokie. Then you put it on here, and if I remember correctly, <laughs> you slide this down, tab it in, and bada bing, bada boom. He's now oop, in, in, in flight mode. There. Now I actually have more accessories, so I don't know why I did that. That should have been last for effect. But we do also get... Come on, stand. Uh, we also get this nice sword. Right there. Which he can also hold pretty loosely. And also this shield, which he kind of awkwardly holds. Like that. And... Uh, for the final accessory, he gets this battle axe, which would have been awesome if it was painted orange like the sword, but sadly not. And he just holds it like so. Now, <laughs> to put everything onto the trailer, let me move them him off to the side for now. You can't put this on the trailer, so I'll move that off to the side as well. These guys you can plug into any hole that looks like this. So like, there's a billion options. I like to put them down here. For the battle axe, as you can see, there's a slot right there that you can plug into anything it looks like that, and I do just plug it into there. For the shield, just like these guys, plug it into anything that looks like that, which I also, there's this and this piece. So you plug it in to things that have this and this in front of it, so you can tab it in and plug it in at the same time, I guess. This sword's a bit tricky. As you can see, there's this little slot right here that plugs into any diagonal looking piece such as this one. So I think that's upside down, yeah. You can just put that up there. And this guy, <laughs> you're not really supposed to be able to put him on here, but you can. Uh, this is more of an, you uh, put it on the truck mode, like on the actual truck instead of inside the trailer. But if you do want it on here somewhere, I guess you can put it in there like so. So yeah, everything can fit in here while transformed. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the accessories. For size comparisons, here we have him next to my previous review, the Studio Series 54 Megatron and the Studio Series 53 Mixmaster. For the transformation, this guy isn't actually too hard to transform. The arms can get a little messy, and as you will see here later, uh, the front grill on mine just refuses. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. It's just, it, it just, it doesn't want to close all the way. And actually, when I was transforming them back to put them on my shelf, um, I noticed that one of the pieces on the grill broke. I don't know how, because it wasn't even tabbed in. That's how stupid this is. Okay. Not bad. It just, it can get a little 
at first it was super annoying, but after you do it a while, it still can get a little bit frustrating to transform them, especially the arms. The arms are such a hassle sometimes, but other than that, it's actually pretty nice. The trailer is not hard to transform. You just gotta make sure everything clicks into place. But uh, that's it I have to say. That's all, that's all I have to say on the transformation. Uh, enjoy the rest of this with some nice, smooth jazz. Actually, looking at the truck form here, it's actually a very nice looking truck form. If it wasn't for that stupid grill that still refuses to close and even broke off, even though the... I'm mad. If you can't tell, I'm mad. Anyway, there's basically no kibble on this thing. The paint on one of the uh, smokestacks is uh, super scuffed on the bottom, which kind of sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, like I was saying, no kibble other than the obvious feet on the back, but that's kind of hidden by the fact that it kind of looks like an actual, uh, like, I don't know what they're called, place where you put the trailer in. It, it looks natural. And obviously, on the back, or on, uh, ups, on the underside of it, there's obviously the normal Transformers underside kibble. There's no getting rid of it. You're, you're never going to get rid of it. But uh, yeah, the vehicle mode, all in all, pretty nice. So for the accessories, we'll start off small with this gun here, which you can place it right there if you want to. I don't think you're supposed to be able to put it there. It's kind of, yeah. But if you do want, 
you can stick it to the si oh, side of him like that. Or uh, if I'm correct, you can stick to him like that. And you can do that on either side. Pretty sure. Well, not on that side because uh, there's pieces blocking it. But I'm sure you could do it with this. Yeah, there you are. Like that. Um, come on. Obviously, we have this amazing looking trailer. I absolutely love the look at this thing. Obviously, we have that. But you could just put that into. What the heck happened here? Get back out of here. I broke it. Do we really care? We don't care right now. We don't, we don't care. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. Looks amazing. And if you wanna, this, this, this stores on that guy. We don't care anymore. If you wanna store everything else in here, you just got to, uh, I don't really know how to, Boop. Just got a first pop. Okay, this is a little bit harder than I thought. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Okay, bear with me here. You gotta pop that out. And it goes as... Well, I'm pretty sure... Um. This goes like that. You just put that there. Whoop. Did you scoop? Come on, get. Yep, there we are. Put the shield back there like a song. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> and then to take the axe, you also have this piece right there, which if I remember correctly, there's also a... Ooh, you can see that. There's a tab right there. And there's that tab right there. So you stick it in like this. Tabs in there nicely. The sword over here. Uh, if I can find it. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, you take it. There's a groove right there. That you... Just put it in, like so, and then finally you put this back on, come on, if it wants to go back on. Oh god. There we are. Okay. Now everything's snug in there. You take these two guys, you place this one like so, and this one like so, and boom. Now all of it is stored. on him beautiful weapon storage um yeah it's really cool that you could put everything in the trailer i really like that it's pretty neato but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the accessories on to the next thing for some size comparisons here we have him next to my previous review the studio series 54 megatron and the studio series 53 mix master so for my final thoughts on this guy going through all my categories first starting off with paint paint on this guy is kind of sparse there isn't much of it since most of it is just plastic but for what's there it's actually pretty nice i can't give it perfect because that smokestack was <clears throat> but uh if it weren't for that i probably would give it a perfect it does look very very nice but i will give it a four out of five instead sculpt on the other hand, um, 
It's four to five. Like I said in previous Transformers review and the Megatron one, which you should go watch. Um, Transformers will never get a perfect score on Sculpt. It's just, it's not going to happen. And that's just because they got to transform. And there's always going to be kibble and it'll never be perfect. So we won't get a perfect score. Thus, it will get a four out of five because it actually, the, the kibble is barely there. There's bar- yeah, there's barely any kibble, and all in all, it looks very nice. Very nice sculpt. It's just tasty. Uh, for the articulation, I will also give it <laughs> a 4 out of 5. Very you very normal articula- uh, blah, blah, blah. articulation. Are the other... Uh, I can't speak. Oh my goodness. Other than the problems like at the uh, Dafit, when you try to stand him up and he just flops over and uh, the wheels at the thigh that block a lot of his movements that also can be d- d- poopy um i don't know why i said poopy like a five-year-old i don't i am five I, after all uh anyway what was it? accessories five out of five accessories i love the ex- <laughs> the, the, the trailer makes i i didn't care if it came if it didn't come i would have cared if it didn't come with any weapons that's kind of his whole shtick but um yeah, he comes with a, a lot of weapons. I mean, I would have cared if you had more respect. It doesn't matter. Five out of five. I love it. The trailer looks. It's like it's beautiful. I love the trailer and I love how it looks in in a vehicle mode with him attached to it. It's just it's it's beautiful. Anyway, uh, that's for size. Size. I will also give it a five out of five. Um. I know it's a I know it's a leader class, but the only reason it's a leader class is because of that trailer. Everything else was a Voyager class, but because of that trailer, you know, it's it's big. It's a big boy. So that's just five out of five with the trailer. He does have a lot more mass to him than other Transformers, so I will give him that. Uh, but uh, yeah, all in all. I will give him a 4 out of 5 in total. Definitely pick this up 100% if you're a Transformers fan or just looking for an Optimus Prime figure. Wonderful. Again, the trailer is... I love it. Uh, probably the only reason I picked it up. I, I wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't for that trailer. I Did I tell you how much I love that trailer? Uh, yeah, 4 out of 5. Pick this up if you want it. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.